deadly thunderstorm that rolled across northern parts of the country damaged sections of Taj Mahal complex including the main gate and the railing running below its five lofty domes. Images showed workers assessing the railings of the main mausoleum after the storm on Friday night battered Agra. One of the new seven wonders of the world, the country's top tourist attraction has been shut since mid-March as part of the measures to try and combat the coronavirus pandemic. Gurgaon, the worst hit city by coronavirus in Haryana, has reported 340 COVID-19 patients in the last three days, surpassing the total number of cases recorded in the last two months, even as the state government refused to open borders with Delhi for non-essential services amid the lockdown. The city recorded its biggest single-day jump in the number of COVID-19 cases on Saturday, with 157 new patients testing positive for the highly infectious illness in 24 hours, taking the city's tally to 677. The Uttar Pradesh government has extended the lockdown till June 30th. State's additional chief secretary has said that the religious places, hotels, restaurants and shopping malls will reopen from June 8th. The announcement comes a day after the centre released guidelines on lockdown 5.0, which is being billed as Unlock 1. All government offices will operate with 100% workforce in UP. Flouting social distancing rules, a huge crowd of supporters gathered to welcome senior Congress leader Chandrakant Handore in Mumbai last night when he returned to his home after recovering from coronavirus. Amid the beating of Trump, some of the supporters were even seeing bursting crackers. Visuals from last night show a large number of supporters waiting to catch a glimpse of the former minister as he steps out from his car outside his home. Prime Minister Nain Modi has stressed on the need to exercise more caution as the economy opens up. In his monthly address, Man Ki Baat today, the Prime Minister said a large part of the economy has opened up and it is time to be more careful. The centre has extended the nationwide lockdown till June 30th with a phased plan for unlocking the country. The Delhi government has sought financial assistance from the centre to the tune of Rs 5,000 crores to pay salaries to its employees. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said that I request the central government to help the people of Delhi in this time of trouble. Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia said that Delhi did not get anything from the disaster relief fund that was given to other states. The move to update Nepal's new map, which includes a stretch of land high in the mountains that India claims as its own, has gathered momentum with the ruling left alliance moving a constitution amendment bill today. The opposition Nepali Congress has said it would vote in the favour of the amendment amid friction with India over the issue.